Hello YouTube, we are back for our game today. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We are on the 11th session, and last session was a fairly, um, fairly peaceful one in the sense, <laughs> in the sense that there were no combats, but that doesn't mean that nothing happened. Um, nothing happened. <laughs> as far not... as Magpie is concerned, nothing happened. Indeed, nothing happened as far as Magpie has is, is concerned, and you know, Gideon and Emmy they don't know anything about that that uh, strange burglar that nope. broke into Brodert's house, and uh, Mister Quink sure couldn't figure it out. But oh well, we'll just have to see what goes on. Sam, so, right? We will. All right. Just keep, just keep sending Gideon out to find me. Yeah, just don't worry about it. He will find you. Justice is on his side. He will find you. I mean, it, I mean the bad guy. Chickens. Yeah. He'll find the chickens. That's right. He might be suspicious of Henrietta. They were chickens. Maybe. She's never up to any good, so that's okay. <laughs> just blame Henrietta. Blame Henrietta for everything. She can't talk back until someone uses speak with animals. Until six levels. <laughs> so for six levels, no one's got nothing. <clears throat> if she ever can't talk, she's going to be like the most evil thing on the planet. Yes, kill them and wear their skin, Cluck. <laughs> kill them all. I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was picturing something more like, mm, Magpie, you get yourself down there and you skin them. And then we will take them, we will, we will fry them right up. They'd be delicious. Man, <laughs> Henrietta don't got no time for that way, Cole. I don't like how sassy Henrietta's gotten. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever had fried human eyeballs? They are just delicious. I don't, that's frowned upon in most societies, like <laughs> humans. Now, now, I've been telling you, Waco, you're going to have to get yourself a suitable sacrifice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, we're on a wagon, I think. You are on yes. a wagon. You guys are on a wagon heading out towards Thistletop, wanting to find your way to uh, hopefully get to the the place where Thistletop has gotten its name from, the little, the kind of hold there. So, let me show you guys uh, the map of the area so that you can see it and get a chance to look at about where you're headed, just for funsies. Handout, map, sand, by that. there we go, Sandpoint Hinderlands, show to player. So, there's the Sandpoint Hinderlands. Blow it up. And let me Ooh. see. So, the Foxglove Manor is in the lower left-hand corner. Um, there's the, and in the, you guys are going to be headed along the northern road, past the Shankwood and the Papa's Graves. Indeed. There was a name for that road. There's Sandpoint, okay. There's Sandpoint, right there. Old Light. So, you guys have, uh, made your way out past Raven Roost and, uh, mm -hmm. seen those on your right hand and you've had the ocean on your left. It's been quite a relaxing ride, actually. The, the creaking of the wagon and, and such has definitely made a difference in the uh, comfort. You were sent off Are with we sunset. like... Are you what? Uh, uh, I was wondering, like, so we are well out of sight of Sandpoint now, correct? Yes. You are well out of sight of Sandpoint. You guys are about halfway, pa halfway through or beside the Raven Roost. Um, little hills there. All right, then. Uh, as long as nothing else is happening, uh, Emmy is going to take this chance to approach Gideon, or at least talk with him within the cart. Okay. Gideon? Yes? And wake over to me for a little bit. In regards to what? Who is your god, Gideon? I am a day. Really? Uh, I was thinking it might have been Lamash too, based on, you know, the fact that you're keeping a slave and all that. If I may, 
What have I done to him, or what have I caused him to do that he has not wanted to do himself? I'm sim simply doing as I've been asked and watching over to make sure that he does not get into any more trouble and cause chaos amongst. I have not punished him. I have not controlled him in any way. I have not told him to do anything other than to, at one point, put something back. And that did cause him quite a shock, did it not? I am uncertain, to be honest. I just know that he complied after I'd asked him to do so. Awkward. <laughs> it says Magpie to himself. It probably leans on his shin and says it. I, I imagine that Magpie has fashioned some sort of hammock out of like a loose piece of tarp. Unfortunately, there's no covering on this wagon. Oh. Out of ropes, then. We've got six hours. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you have I'm six very hours light. if you take your time. But okay. Uh, hmm. Not at all how I was expecting that to go. <laughs> but whatever. Dramatic impasse. I can certainly appreciate where you're coming from, Emmy. I am a pawn to slavery in and of itself, which is why I'm allowing Waco to prove himself and to give him as long a leash as is necessary in order to, for him to grow as a person. I haven't used it as a whip. I have not even used it as a carrot. I am simply following the instructions I was given by the sheriff, and I certainly hope I don't need to use it at all. It is simply a safeguard, my dear. I'm not sure if that it's slavery if you get paid. That's indentured servitude. Similar but different. Waco's still sleeping on the horse pulling the carriage. He's I thus figured. conveniently not in the room, though is totally listening. <laughs> um, not really serious, but he's got the hat over his face and everything. It's not a big wagon, so yeah. Uh, you guys are just over there. Yeah. The chicken, however, is standing on his belly and it is staring at all of you like, I hear you gossiping. It's little chicken eyes. Is it blue sky sunny out? It is. Oh, Very good. Very nice day. Grand. Uh... It's north of the Raven Roost Mountains, is that right? Just a little north is to the other side so it is more oh yeah, just east, east. east yes oh yeah i suppose we are on the eastern road east of the raven roost mountains heading south along the coast yes ah, on a blue sunny day while everyone argues about me the best thing ever <laughs> <laughs> doesn't serve his ego at all Gideon, don't you think that having this supposed safeguard might do more harm than good? In what way? Well, I wouldn't be too happy if someone attached a chip to my neck. Have you ever been in military training of any sorts? <sighs> because I can tell you, as part of my training as an early childhood, I was taken, I was instructed, I was given a curfew, I was given physical training, as part of my daily regimen. If I didn't listen, if I stepped out of bounds, I was punished severely. If it was a slight shock, that would have been lovely based upon what I would have experienced in order to break, break me to a certain extent so that I could be built back up. By definition of what you're saying, is that not also slavery? Yeah. Well, you paid. I'm so though. sorry you went through that. Ah, I didn't. I wasn't paid to do that. I was paying for the the possibility of being trained as a paladin of Iomide. That is part of the nature of service, and simply getting the opportunity to do so, and giving the opportunity to do so. I am just here to guide, and I take my services and my responsibilities very seriously because of it. Just the. Uh... Just let him go as soon as you can, then. I don't think it will do him any good. I have no intention of holding him for any particular reason. If this is simply to ensure that he doesn't go back and cause havoc. This is certainly a better alternative to where he was going to be ended up, do you not believe? And if we were to let him go, what would happen? I have a feeling you would stick around. <laughs> that's meta knowledge. I yeah, that, that's 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 player knowledge versus character right there. <laughs> well, I don't know. That may be uh, Emmy's uh, 
naive nature. Uh, I don't know yeah, that Waco would it. stick around. As I believe player, the I sheriff think... said something about hanging, but I might have misheard that. No, there was certainly a, a potential of hanging, and or <laughs> worse, potentially. But I can certainly say if and my concern is that this enchantment is not strictly just between what Waco and I have, but what happens if the detection of it breaks and the sheriff decides to hunt him down for crimes that he has committed and he has not yet atoned for? Oh, cool. What crimes are those, Gideon? Do you know? I'm not privy to it, no. But it was serious enough that he was being, he was being told he was being hanged in the morning. I'm you pretty that sure. In... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go, go, go ahead. I'm pretty sure there was a mention of severe public property damage. Uh, he murdered some livestock. You know, that's that's pretty damaging to people's livelihood. Uh, you know, bad stuff. Bad stuff that he got caught for. And this wasn't his first time. I believe it's more of a three strikes rule in this case. I mean, not, not to sell you down the river there, wakey baby, but you and that chicken did some gnarly shit. <laughs> he is now sitting up and staring daggers at all of you. <laughs> Sorry, I just cut out for a second there. What did Magpie say? Oh, I was basically just calling out Waco. Something along the lines of, sorry, wakey baby, but you and that chicken do some gnarly shit. So we basically we just recapped the multiple offenses that he would have done, including killing livestock and severe property damage, uh, including, I believe, there was a burning of a field in there somewhere of crop and everything along those lines. And the three strikes aspect of it wasn't his first time. Oh, yeah. I also think prison. he defaced a public monument. Now, that was just funny. He, no longer staring daggers. He's like, hey, good point there. It was the mention of livestock that seemed to piss him off. Nevertheless, he's lying back down, but not before glancing forward up the road to see how much longer we have till this time. Okay. And with that, uh, I mean, he's probably going to plop back down for like three, then get back up, uh, sort of I guess, hobble through the cart over to Magpie. First, she's going to give him a slap. <laughs> Whoa. I roll to not fall out of my makeshift hammock. And, and then she gives him a tickle. Is this what's going on? Do I have to, do you have to roll anything for that? For the no, that's slap? Not, no. not if he's going to take it. I mean, I'm not expecting it. Emerald has been one of his biggest fans right up until this moment. <laughs> um, then after that, she is going to sort of grab like the cuff of his armor or whatever it's a chain shirt i think a chain yeah and then um uh, she is going to actually pull him into a kiss oh what what's going on <laughs> this is escalated quickly <laughs> and in the middle of that she is going to sort of do her whole transformy thingy in front of everyone damon <laughs> <laughs> oh, magpie yeah. just turned her into a fox woman um, Gideon stands up, kind of startled, probably falls out of the cart or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, as that, as that beautiful, <laughs> confusing moment ends, she lets go of the front of his armor and he falls out of the hammock off the back of the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I assume Shin is just <laughs> laughing his butt off right now at everyone. <laughs> uh, I mean, the cart and sort of help people up. This never happened when I was traveling. And he goes sitting back up and he's got his big toothy grin and he's holding his chicken right here and the chicken goes, Bawl? <laughs> uh, she looks at Magpie and goes, the slap was your dumbass suggestions about what to do about Waco. The kiss was for helping me keep my secret up until now. Hey, it, hey, what? Whoa, <laughs> hey, well, back off, lady. <laughs> Waco gets props. So she sort of helps him up after he's fallen out of the cart. Crazy. Females. Mimicking <laughs> females. She is not really changing back yet at this point. Fucking bird will still... do this. Well, that was certainly um, on a Gamaralda? Is that you? Yes, it's her. I okay. don't want to talk about it right now. 
I have other things to think about. These confusing feelings that keep welling up inside. He sits on the hammock and just, like, puts his hands over where his ear holes are. I figured, uh... I figured if we're going to Thistletop and anything goes wrong, everyone should probably know to begin with. You do have some explaining to do, creature. Watch your tongue. <laughs> what explaining? I've always been like this. I've always been like this. Oh, have you now? How convenient for you. What do you want? Do I need <laughs> quiet or whatever? I don't quite understand you, demon. Why this? Why? Why would you deceive us like this? Well, you must know it's not about you. It's about my, uh, it's about my adopted family. I don't want them to find me. And if I go around like this all the time, it's pretty obvious who I am. I believe they already did, though, glancing at Xian. She's going to look over at Shen and go, what did you tell him? That I was sent to find you. Same as anybody else knows. Nobody except for the one who will do just about anything for some gold pieces. Magpie looks up, realizes you're not talking about him, and then just <laughs> pretends to not be paying attention to him. <laughs> what does it me? matter to you who she is, Mageling? Back to your profits, any. And, uh, why are you calling me a demon to begin with? I'm no demon. As this is actually going on, Gideon's actually doing detect evil on Emmy. Okay. Because <laughs> he's demon. a little bit on the, the fuck. Doesn't, doesn't that work in a cone? Yeah. Well, it does work just, in a cone. He can, if he can't I'm just one person. If I'm uh, concentrating, it's only on the person I'm concentrating on. Okay, so you're not going to accidentally catch Xi'an in your detect evil radar? No, I am still oblivious to his evil, evil ways. Uh, but there will be like an eclipse <laughs> of evil light from the chicken behind Emmy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you don't see anything. No, no evil. No, I, that's that. I figured not. I'm just the mention of demon. He goes into I am a paladin like smash Slay shit the bad guys mode. <laughs> so we can be like, nah, see no demon. I got it. I got the uh, eyes. Hey, Mazes, um, I'm not detecting anything demonic uh, about her. Really, no. Not that I'm aware of, unless she's able to hide her intentions, but it's never failed me before. She I, I just over there me. taking a drink. As we're reciting musing from my home tile. Cunning fox in the chicken's lair, a hound of hell, and the devil don't care. The chicken again goes, Bleh. This is interesting. Uh, <laughs> Incredibly foreboding. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you guys are pondering this, and as you are, there's a little tumble of rock that comes down from some of the hill, and... Let me see. Oh, yes. Uh, bush. Um, let me see how much that happens, because an arrow flies out of the, the rocky crags and slams right into uh, probably the biggest, most armored thing there, which would be... Gideon. <laughs> Gideon. So, let me pull you guys over. Because I need initiative rolls, because you have effectively been snuck up on by some gobos. Oh, it's Dan Bush. Mm. Actually, I think Adam might be happy with the fact that I got my 18 roll for my initiative versus <laughs> when I swing the sword. You get an arrow, an arrow in your back, and it's like, hmm. That's one way to get into action. Oh, thank God, one of us knows what we're doing. Shen with the 20 initiative. I, Shen terrifies me. He's the kind of guy where someone else gets shot by an arrow and he's already screaming and running at the archer. <laughs> That's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah, and he'll catch one of the arrows, too. No, I don't have that yet. Not yet. Not, actually, not for a long time. 
Don't you? Is that one of your bonus feats? This is it's a, a possible feat. bonus feat. Uh, and I even take it. It's one of those things that I felt monks should just get for free. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> the rogue is going at the end of the initiative again. Sick. <laughs> Well, you are on your back, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've got my, I've got my, effectively, I've got my fingers in my ears going, la, 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 la. It's kind of funny that this is the only of being a demon when we actually have a demon in, in, in the group. And have a short demon. little. All right. So, we are on the map. On the map. And you guys have found yourselves in the midst of four goblins on your right side. Sounds like these goblins have a dragon. Hey, it was what it I could does. do. That no, that, that, there's no problem with it. Just one of the goblins Don't is just freaking give. out. He's in a weird costume. Don't get the DM ideas. Do not get the DM ideas. Hey, I'm totally okay with bringing dragons. Hey. Sounds I from told, over the mountains. I told half you, half dragon, dragon half goblin. Hey, I've got a Bring thing for, you know, the, the other guys know. I, I'll put dragons in there. If you guys don't mind dragons, we'll put some dragons in. But I don't, You crossbred uh, a dragon with a gibbering mouth, or what the hell's wrong with you? Well, I, I didn't breed it. He he just, like, it was a, a weird right word, okay? It was like a blood experiment. Yeah. I don't want to meet the dragon that made the half goblin, though. A crab bring down you know, the dragon that made that. <laughs> Every half goblin kill you. All so, right. Do, do the goblins have an issue? They do. In fact, they rolled fairly well. What? Oh, I suppose this is their surprise round or something. They've got pretty good initiative. They're Dexy little critters. Yeah. Well, I rolled a six. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nerd. So, these guys over here are going to pelt with arrows, you you dudes and dudettes. So, let me see. We're going to say that one of them already took his turn to do a little damage to Gideon. Seven damage. Ooh. That's smart. That was, a good, that was a good roll. Yeah. Ouch. Mm. Hey, you were you were busy looking at the not demon wolf fox lady. <laughs> oh, thank God, a distraction. <laughs> and the other guys are going to also launch. Let me see. See, they're going see? To... murder, murder. One of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> Let's going... get out of this wagon. <laughs> they're going to launch at the people along this side, I guess, and the. And the person that they think is driving, which is technically the one they think is on the mo the Felsen monster horse. Yeah, far out. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. For Waco. Oh, I don't think so. Let me see. Nah, what's your AC? Without, no. Without main armor, he's got a 13 AC. No. Nah, they still don't hit. All right. Fuck. One at Gideon. Not a Gideon, at Shin. One already went at Gideon. Nope. What's your your armor class is definitely higher than that. 15. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And one more at Mazes. Now, Mazes might hit. Let me see. Mazes' no, armor class... Unnecessary. <laughs> Mazes' armor class is 13. No, that's the passive perception. Where's the armor? Twelve. It's uh, well, it's eleven because I'm flat-footed. Ah, so eleven. You're so gonna you, get shot. You only take one point of damage. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Yours. All right. But that's their turn, and they shout to each other. So, if anybody. Um. I speak. Yep. Yep. yep nope, yep. I don't speak goblin. I do. Mazes speaks goblin. You hear him say, Ah, we don't even need the others. Look, look. We'll get them. That's right. We won't need the others. All right. 
All right, that's a little too devious, Mazes. I'm not sure if you're talking about the goblins or us now. Shin, <laughs> it's your turn. Ready for some goblin stomping? Yeah. Shin, five foot. Do some crazy whirling and twirling with his rope dart. He's gonna. Ta-ta! This one first. Okay. Uh, 15. That should hit, yes. Uh, seven damage. Okay. And then he lets it whip around for the flurry of blows deal, and he goes after the next closest one. Okay, well, um, this, one's, this one's throat gets sliced with your little... <laughs> falls off the little ledge. Next closest one is right there. Yeah, I missed him. I only got like a... Oh, I had never even thought of that. He, you can flurry of blows with that rope dart. Dang. Yeah. And it counts as a throwing weapon. Yay. All right. So you missed the other dude. And that... That's nasty. Is there anything else you'd like to do? that was a four-round action, so... Okay. Uh -oh. That's it. Gideon. All right. Um, firstly... Um, as my swift action, I'm going to use Lay on Hands because, yeah, I touched myself. Uh, now, I just want to double check part of the feature. Can I use multiple uses um, in one casting, or do I have to use only one use per cast? I'm pretty per sure cast. it's only one use per cast. That's my okay. understanding. Right. So you get like per. Especially since it's a swift action for you to heal yourself. Yeah, I was just double checking based upon the, the wording of the the tool tip. <laughs> so he's gonna heal himself for three damage. Um bringing him he still looks bloodied, <laughs> but he is going to get up and charge at um now just don't want to double check this goblin right up here. Um, at the top of this sort of hill, um, is he within charging distance? He's up. Those rocks are a little elevated above y'all. So, so what would that count as? Um, you'd have to expend all of your movement to get up to him, but you could get up to his square. Okay, so if I can do a charge to do that then, and so I will do that, and as my battle cry goes for you, day, and I'm going to basically charge up there mm -hmm. and take a swing. Yeah, you, you, they just see this big ass giant armored guy that they just hit with an arrow, pissed off. Um, and so that's a plus four for the charge, correct? Yeah. Plus two. Plus two for charge. Sorry. Plus two. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that will be a seventeen. Modify. Okay. And I forgot to do power attack, so that's why I'm not doing that. Uh, and so that is six plus. Just uh, bear with me one second. Six plus six, so 12. Okay. 12 damage. He goes, <laughs> as your sword kind of. You charge up and you just drag it up. And goblins aren't heavy, you know? So no. as you come up with your sword, he just kind of carries with it. And you just go... <laughs> and his two pieces fall actually over there. Ugh. And this okay. marking spray. Um, and I'm just going to sort of look over and down at the person beside him and say, Well, it's not very small of you to attack our carriage. He just looks up and goes, What's in my car? He says to the one beside him, and Mazes, you hear this, and he says, He said, basically says, Our oh, goblin splitter, we call others, we call others. Amy. She doesn't hear any of that, otherwise, she'd be waiting for the other side to show up and ready in action, but. Yep. Uh, she is going to daze uh, 
the nearest. Well, what's the what's the range on that? Hang on, thirty. Should have enough. Yeah, just have enough. So he's gonna daze that guy. Okay. Whoop, right there. So he makes a will save. He fails. Or I should say With a DC fails. of 18? Yeah. DC of 18? Never. Yeah. So she fails. So she is just dazed, right? Yeah, just dazed. Not asleep. Yeah, you, you lose your action for the turn. Not that. Not, he's not dead. Yeah, not dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm actually kind of looking forward to next level when I can get Cleave as my next feat. <laughs> he's like, Cleave. You hear the quiver in his voice when he says it. Cleave. All right. So that thing is effectively dazed. Bonk. Waco, you're laying on the... You saw these things that were shooting at you, man. Yeah, you took a couple. Pretty uh, well. They, they took a. Did I take a couple, of them or did he shoot at me and I missed one? But he's still pretty choked about it. Yeah, they missed. Oh, I did. But... Yeah. Well, wondering if I should run over and immediately start grilling the other one for where its camp is, or if I could go kill the other one under the ground. Like you could kill. Him. I'm gonna try to kill. Him. He jumps off the horse. He's gonna start on over. Let's see one, two, three. Death chicken. Oh. He's dazed. Will I get an attack of opportunity walking past this guy? No. Uh, no. Well, no, he lost his actions. All right, yeah. So I'm going to go right there, and I'm going to biff him right over the noggin. Bang, bang, wake goes silver hammer. And I got a 13. 13 does not hit, actually. It goes, <laughs> and barely, you, you go right by it. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Where the bill goblins are bill furred. Alright. So you swing and a miss at that guy. I assume Henrietta is just watching you with the glee and I'm not sure. In yeah, she's still without her. her. <laughs> Looking for seeds. Alright. Magpie. You're currently prone in your hammock. What? <clears throat> Why are we here? <laughs> I'm so confused. I've lost all sense of purpose. <laughs> I do an acrobatics to stand. <laughs> Just to stand. Just well, because. If I want to, like, stand up and move, um, can I do an acrobatics so that I can still, like, so I can stand up and still have a move action? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Stand up is one move action, then moving. So you can. I hope you bit it and get and off. fall back into the hammock. Well, that's what I mean. Like, so I could move and then still take a stand, or just so I don't have to double move to get out of this hammock. So I could like roll off, like roll out of the back of the wagon and move. Right. I get you. Can you do like you can acrobatics. You can yeah. move half your speed. Hmm. Acrobatics is half your speed. Okay. Like that's, that's fine. That's fifteen feet. It'll take me here, right out in front of Shan. Uh, 12. 12? Yep. Yeah, barely. Switching dice after it this was, for nonsense. It was not as, it was not as uh, much of acrobatics check as kind of like, a, oh, 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 oh. not nearly as Yeah, I'm not, I'm not on, he's not on top of his game right now. He was not so much magpie as Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure if there's another window coming up, it, like this would have killed him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'll throw a knife at the one Emmy dazed. Okay. It doesn't lose its AC. It just doesn't get an action. Yeah, it just doesn't get actions. Uh, 15. 15 does hit. If I remember okay. right, let me make sure. It is either 15 or 16. Nope. That just missed it for me. You grazed God damn it. ear. Mine. Then mine should have missed. No, yours was uh, a different one. 
It was a special goblin. Oh. You took Different armor. Yeah, you took out the special goblin. Meanie. No. It's special. Nah. Why is this happening to Magpie? This is the worst day of Magpie's life. Name backstory. Goblin the, family. The title of this episode will be the one in which Magpie was not amazing. <laughs> Don't you say those words. <laughs> 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 Poor Magpie. So having a Magpie, long afternoon. If Magpie ever dies, the title of the episode will be Magpie Was Amazing. And it will also be called Last Episode. <laughs> <laughs> that better be a big and damn funeral. And if we were able to resurrect him, it's called Screw You Cancellation. I mean... <laughs> Back by popular demand of Greg. No, it'd be like, who said no season two? All right. That means Magpie's done. Mazes. Well, being the one holding the reins, yeah. he's, he's, he's going to make sure the horses doesn't you know, <laughs> leave them behind. He's more like, clean this up fairly quickly. We've got things to do type thing. I mean, he'll do that, but he'll... He'll, uh, he'll, he'll uh, use one hand to fling uh, a blob of acid. All right, which one? The closest. 14. Four, four it misses. Touch. It was only going to do one damage anyway. So. Well, it's a D3. Yeah. It's always just one damage or two damage. It missed the touch, I see. Yeah, these are Dexy little critters. They have, like, no armor. Only Dex. No, no, no. It really got that, it by one. That Dexy. It got it by one. Oh, you did one damage uh, to the dazed one. There you go. <clears throat> it's more damage than I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back at the top of the round. The other, uh, this one is still dazed, but this one is not. And he goes. And it's uh, for those like Mazes who speaks it. It says, uh, "Lots of food. They, the food is here. Come kill it, Longshanks." So that means that some more are coming, but you don't know when or where or what or if. And this one is standing, it looks over at the big guy, looks over at Waco, looks at Gideon, looks at Waco. It swings at Waco. That's what I would have done. Oh, with a, it rolled a natural four, so no. Dang it. Purple Man, ass. Waco's a lucky cat. <laughs> And then this one is, is this one dazed until his turn or your turn? He does he loses his turn. Yeah, he loses his turn. I understand. So I will unmark him now so that we'll know next time he is dazed. Shin, what you want to do? Shin has the rope whipping about him and it goes around his neck and then he ducks his head and it shoots straight at the dazed. Uh, 16. All right. That hits. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage. It sticks directly mm -hmm. into its chest and kind of comes out the other side. Mm -hmm. And I will take the long range shot or the longer range shot be interesting don't roll the one uh yeah it's 16 i just miss okay after you include like long range and everything and partial cover from waco indeed so this guy is you you rip the rope out of his chest he goes falls forward kind of tumbles down with his buddy right there landing at magpie's feet and 
the blood's still swishing around as you move the rope, and you go at that guy, but it kind of slips in your hand because the rope is, well, bloody. So. Gross. Any movement? No, that was a full round of action. Oh, I see. Okay. I could, I could five foot, but I don't see any need to right at the moment. Actually, yeah, I do. Uh, pop back up on. Okay. All right, then. Gideon, this guy's still swinging it at Waco. Well, it wasn't very nice for you to attack my charge. Yeah. And so he's going to just take it, and he's going to swing his falchion downwards and protect Waco. So protect Waco with death. Seventeen plus seven, twenty-four. Yeah, you so hit him. You like hit him yesterday. He just didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both sweat a day ago. Like, oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, so three plus six, uh, nine. Nine damage. Yep. You kind of come down on him. He tries to get out of the way, but you kind of slice down, and for a moment you think you missed, except his face kind of goes... You cut his face off! Oh, so we went Resident Evil on it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and he falls back. That's what you get for attacking my friend. Or that terrible Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> hey Matt, Wiggle's gonna hold his mace up in the air, and then we're gonna—I'm gonna so we can biff our weapons together, like yeah, cling, an evil high five. It's kind of like cube. All right. Well, as you do that, some arrows come flying from the other side, actually. Okay, and sorry, just as my swift action, I am going to cast another lay on hands as by myself because I'm kind of hurting. Okay. Um, for two. So we're gonna. So I just figured because like, that was gonna be my swift action. Totally okay. That should put them yep. just between. Yep. Descending. So these guys are gone. But these guys come in. All right. So two arrows. Um, they're gonna be aimed at probably Emmy because she's the one that's closest. I figured. Both of them? Both arrows, but a natural three is not going to hit you. Oh, no. Oh, and a one. It's lovely. <laughs> Will it confirm? It does not confirm. Thank you very much. It does not confirm. Silly bubble. Do not shoot himself in the face. So, For a couple bolts, arrows bolts fly. Snaps. <laughs> It's couple. a demon of misfortune, you see. That's right. She's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's a she's a pug wampy in disguise. All right. So those two arrows fly off. And don't hit anything. But this this rather buff looking sword wielding goblin comes up and five, ten, fifteen. And swings at Emmy. Oh man, I just closed the character sheet thinking I got. Oh well. Um. Doo, doo, doo. He. Uh, I don't believe he hits. Oh, he does hit. Whew. He hits. Oh man. So. Playing with me like that? I know. Why are you playing with my emotions? Why are you playing with my emotions? And he does, oh. He does five damage. Oh, snap. Yeah. Not not quite bloodied, but close. So it goes slicing, and it, it cuts you across your shins, you know? And it's like, yeah. wow, and Ouch. it hits an artery. It starts to, to bleed a little bit more than you thought it would. And this guy is going to step up two spaces. And he's going to throw something. Where'd that go? I'm screwed now. Yeah. No, pass yep. will go up the wagon. <laughs> he 
he's going to throw a grenade. Not a. He's going to throw one of those grenade things that you picked up. Oh boy. Here we go. There he is. Where's he throwing it? He's throwing a pellet grenade right at the wagon, right at the seat, right at Mazes. Sorry, guys. I don't even know what they were, and now he's going to use them on us. Pellet grenade. So, this could be really bad. You, know, you, you do know that, right? Hmm? That. Well, whatever. Okay. So, here's what happens he rolls. I uh, don't know that that's going to hit your touch, Mazes. 11. Oh, it does hit. It does hit. It does hit. Just. Just. It's a reflex. Path. Aren't those just an area of effect? Not. Yeah, they're not splash weapons. It's a ten foot burst. Oh, okay. That was my mistake. Thank you for clarifying. It's. It's like fireball. I yeah. I, I had to look it up later. No luck. Yeah, it's like fireball. You don't have to hit nothing. He rolls piddly for. One of that. Oh, come on, dice. One of that. Oh my gosh, three ones. What the heck? Three 18 runs. on the reflex, and I take half. <laughs> three ones, people. Wait, you're level two. Don't you have evasion as a monk? Yeah, actually, I take none. Because <laughs> does a backflip, and all the pellets fly around him. Throws a grenade full of styrofoam. Right, that made a shin. Okay. It was a faulty one. So, Actually, can I for, forego that and soak it for Emmy? Poorly uh, packed powder. You can make a re. Uh, you can make a separate reflex save if you want to try to soak the damage for Emmy. I'll allow that. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah. So, Shen kind of, Mazes kind of takes the brunt of the damage. He's like, that's kind of three. That's kind of. But Shin, you see, he sees it's it coming. Like being hit by three arrows. Yeah, <laughs> Shin sees it coming, and Emmy, you just see him wrap him, his arms around you, pull you around, and you hear a <laughs> across his back. Ouch! So he takes the damage that you would have, which is three. And he only takes two because he doesn't take the fire damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. right. He doesn't take fire damage. Dang it! It doesn't take fire damage either. Grand total of two damage. <laughs> All right. This is why goblins make terrible alchemists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it just doesn't explode the same way as you thought it would. I mean, you were you saw it flying through the air and you expected some, <clears throat> but it was more like a. <clears throat> so. All right. It landed that's... like under the wagon or something. It landed under the seat or something. Oh, yeah. That's right. I did not make a save uh, for the horse. The oh, horse. of course the, the horse, horse makes a, uh, a save. However, <laughs> there's a chicken it on the horse. Smacks its butt. So, Mazes, oh no! You're gonna make a handle animal Bye, guys. check. Bye guys. <laughs> you're gonna make a handle animal check not. to try and hey, keep guys. this horse from just running off. It was nice adventuring with you. Well, All right. The party. It's a decent 20, so have good luck. Have fun. You might roll a 20. Well, you have to remember, he's finally got his cart now. He's between us and the cart. The cart's more important to mazes. Uh, no, it was just, you almost did it, surprisingly. You almost did it. But It's you know, untrained, though, so you can max it 10. Yeah. No, nah, it's it's not one of those types of skills. You, uh, yeah. ones like that oh. are usually marked. It's just knowledge yeah. skills. They're profession skills. They're trained only. So it goes like. Got it. Whoop. And you guys are left hanging in the middle of the air. No, I'm playing. It tries to run the fudge off. Mazes doesn't have to make any check, but those that were standing up in the back need to make a reflex save. Uh, yes. That's just a straight dex, right? Yeah. Uh, you get a bone. Well, you get no. other stuff to it usually. 
depending on your class. Yeah, you should. Yeah, have a class bonus. Okay, and I'm looking in the wrong spot then. Defenses. Saves. I don't know what sheet you're using. Uh, 1.9. Oh, yeah, it saves. Duh. Sorry. Oh, a 7. What was, uh... So, what do I need to do if I want to stay behind? If you want to stay behind? Well, you, uh -huh. here's what happens. You see Emmy start to fall off down in, onto the hard, unforgiving, rocky road. Um, do you want to catch her and take the damage, or do you want to stay with the cart? Uh, catch and take. Off. Catch and take the damage. Day yep. escort missions. Okay. Maybe a reflex save to do that. Shen will be the first uh, to die. Fourteen. <laughs> fourteen? Okay, that's enough. You are able to... Again, it's as if you just... She slips out of your arms and she starts to fall off and it's just like... Ugh. And you jump after her and you... You guys kind of roll a few feet down this way. But you catch her. Next to the gate. <laughs> Can I acrobatic to try and negate? No. You're sacrificing... Uh, doing too much. No, nope. yeah. just, just soaking it. Good deal. It's only four damage. Was it 1d6? Yeah. Works. It's only four damage. So, nothing you're... You can handle it. You can handle it. That's going to be sore in the morning. <laughs> uh, okay. Since, since I did this, can I choose positioning? Yes. All I do is swap us. Sure. Just to swap of positions. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately. Bye, Mazes. <laughs> Bye, Mazes. <laughs> uh, okay. hey, it was nice knowing you. I've got my cart. Peace, bitches. <laughs> Peace out. And I've got the food. I'll name stores and after. the blankets. And all the supplies. Any other food? All right. And your backpacks. Oh, that's it. We're chasing him. <laughs> My gold. I like My your shiny food. things. Oh. Uh, all right, Emmy. Um, you're right now. You're prone on the ground with Shin. Um, Ooh, you have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> how it is? Is she unbloodied by this point? He's he's still got more than half. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Uh then it's a move action to get up, yeah? So I'm just gonna You you forfeit one or the other. And that's a move action to stand firm prone. Yeah. I just I just had I looked it up. Yeah, she's gonna start casting sleep. <laughs> okay. You would have to stay on the ground then. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's a, a full-round full action, action casting. I'll stand and do it. Oh. Uh, okay, she's gonna stand up and cast days then. On whom? Charm! You use charm! Charm isn't as strong. It's like it's only got 14. I thought it was only an enchantment. It's... Enchantment, but it's not enchantment compulsion. Uh -huh. Compulsion is where I get my bonuses. Uh, that won't happen until she gets, uh, like, command. Oh. Sleep works. That's no fun. Or enthralled. Uh, so. Okay. Dominatrix. She is going to. <laughs> I cast Dominatrix. Gross. <laughs> I'm gonna cast it on the beefy one with the sword. Keep him from getting any closer. Okay. That would be this one. Watcha. Yep. So he has to make a will save. Come on. Eleven. Let's see. It's a nineteen. Nah, that's not gonna do it. Yeah. It's a I think it's. There. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope. No, it's come on. It's eighteen, but still not making it. He wasn't. I looked because he wasn't normal goblin, but no, he doesn't make it. 
doesn't make it. All right, he's dazed. Waco, you see your the cart wait, wait, wait. off, man. Henrietta's on the cart. Bar oh, dude, that took once again. Bullshit. <laughs> dude, that's my chicken. Oh, he's sad about that, but he's got bigger fish to fry. And uh, seem like things are probably okay. One sec. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to biff him with my stick because I don't really know what else to be doing right now. I feel like it's not worth using spells on goblins. I'm just going to keep hitting him with stuff. Get free hexes, right? Free hexes per goblin? Yeah, but I don't have any damaging hexes. Like, ah. There's very few hexes that deal damage. Got it. Um, but I got a 14 to biff him. I feel like that, that's not enough. That does not hit. You notice that he has a bit more... Uh... That he's got these thicker kind of hides on him, and he's carrying a, a, a heftier weapon. So he oh, kind of just tinks. He kind of just glances off of his hide. We're actually pretty evenly matched, him and I. <laughs> yeah, him and the him <laughs> and the witch. Whew, that's a high I'll bar club. to hit. I'll club him yet. All right, magpie. There go your shinies. We'll save. Son of a bitch! Like, actually a will save? Yeah, actual will save. Oh. Those are your shinies, man. Twelve. You're going after the cart. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Can I call it a conflict of interest? Because I'm all, I'm all fucked up over Emmy right now. Sure, you can call it whatever you want, but you want those shinies back. I call it emotional <laughs> compromisation. <laughs> hey, it's the material world, and I'm a material bird. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Desna's wings, goddamn you, you filthy green monsters! <laughs> and I throw a pellet grenade right here. Okay. Oh yeah. Just lob it over his shoulder while he runs after his bucket of stuff. They both make their saves, all your damage. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Eleven damage. Okay. <laughs> well, this guy, once the smoke clears, you see that his body is riddled with holes and shards and other such things as it goes... <clears throat> this one, not so much. It was how much damage? Eleven, you said? Eleven. So, um, yeah, that goes... That was my five. last pellet grenade. But it doesn't look good. This one's like, oh. But Magpie's taken off now, after the the cart. So just a string of Tengu expletives and feathers. Just kind sounds of... sounds very much like just angry bird squawking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mazes, uh, you can make another handle handle animal check before you go off the map. <laughs> <laughs> or leap from the wagon. I mean, it's totally up to you. That's all. <laughs> this sounds like something she would do. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to go on a mini quest to find our stuff. 13. Uh, you get it slowed down. So now it's kind of mainly at a trot. But it's still trotting away. So next Looks round. behind him, sees Magpie swearing and running after him. Oh, yep. shit. He <laughs> tried to egg the horse on fast. <laughs> <laughs> Go fast again. <laughs> so, so Mazus is effectively off the map. Now, let me see. Shin. Yeah, Shin. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at something here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Don't look too hard at the picture. Make you All right, Shin stands up. Okay. And he throws this little glass vial at the big goblin. Okay, the one standing right by Waco. Yep. Okay. Uh, Eighteen for for a ranged touch attack. That hits. Remember what the stuff is, Adam? Oh, it's that stuff. Yeah. So fortitude save. A natural one. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody what happens? That's 
Okay, so he's sickened for one d four rounds. So let's let's do that. Okay. Uh, he's sickened for two rounds, and his body starts to like twist and deform, and he gets a stupid look on his face. He takes four points of intelligence damage and one point of dex damage. Okay. All right. So this thing starts to yeah, something like that. Lovely. <laughs> All right. So Shin threw out some nasty gunk on that dude. You guys don't know what it was, but it was something. It just, it just looks like water. Don't get it on your skin. Don't drink it. <laughs> Gideon. Don't breathe this. There you go. Okay. Um, he turns around and he sees all this action going on. and um, Because he he doesn't really notice that the daze has been going off. I'm, I'm going to take. And so he's just going to run down beside uh, Waco. And he's going to take a big power attack against this uh, big beefy guy. Okay. Uh, so that would be 15 minus 2, uh, tw uh not modified 20. Yeah, you had. Uh, so that is 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3, uh, it's 15. Dead. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> dead. Got it. Sweet paladins. <laughs> Like I swing at something, just miss, and then you fly in and chop it in half, and then I run, swing at something, just miss. And... <laughs> so he, he, Giddy just sort of like runs up and it's like, I'm coming, little buddy, and he just you know, comes across. <laughs> and he we goes like, I'm out there. It's like Paladin, the Paladin and his best buddy, the chaotic evil witch. Yeah. Witch. Who is somehow in service to him of some description? Not chaotic evil. He's new trick evil. New trick. New trick. New trick. Yes. It's like yes, it's new trick now. Neutron. Neutrophil. It's neutrophil. <laughs> Nutrition. <laughs> okay. Well, it's their turn. These two goblins look at each other. It's up. It's up. And they just lob a couple attacks at the paladin half-heartedly. I think that means bail. Ooh, the one got a natural 20. He's going about to try and confirm. Uh -huh. Ooh, it confirms. Oh, no. A confirmed natural it 20. It confirmed? It confirmed. On who with what? On an 18 armor class? God On damn it. 18 armor class with its bow. Dang. Okay. This, this could potentially be very bad, you know that, right? Uh huh. Let's take the non confirmed right one first. I mean, let's take the, the non damagey one first. It only does one damage. Okay. Hold on, because you, you might roll multi extra multipliers, so you need the percentile. Well, I, that's the one that's not a critical. The one that is not a critical oh. does one damage. Okay. So. As you come down and you swing, whoosh, you slice that dude in half, and you're like, "Yeah, Waco, I'm in." Ah, ow! And then you see, you look up, and you see this other one coming at your face. That's a terrible place to get shot by an arrow. Yeah, it depends on what it is. It, it could be the knee. <laughs> it could deviate to the knee suddenly. Wind blows. <laughs> you never adventure again. So what's that? Uh, <laughs> What is the percentile? Yes. I will let Gideon roll the percentile if he wants to, unless someone else is rolling it already. Roll really, really, really low. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling now. Really? Really, really low. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, 72. See? That's where your, that's where your rolls... Come back to haunt you. Okay, okay. Uh, this this actually isn't. I'm happy. I, I'm good with that. That's that's fair. I. So. 
You're going to take a little time. And it somehow injures your eye. Wait, and what? you lose minus two perception for 1d4 hours. Wait, back up okay. to the front of it. What was it called? It's eye injured, minus two to perception for 1d4 hours. Okay. So your eye, it, you skip right there and you're like, ah, oh, ow, ah, oh. oh. I got this. I got it. Stick. It hit the bone, but it kind of caught there, so it, it didn't stick straight in. It kind of just kind of dangled there for a second. It's dangling at yep. your eyeball. Right, right, right oh. Right. Oh no. And then I got four on the D four there, so uh, four hours. There you go. <laughs> the nasty one. Oh, you have an arrow in your eye for four hours. I mean, you already had. I used to be an adventurer like you. You already have lovely perception, so I mean, this is just going to make I it know. spectacular. If you're going to do illegal shit or evil shit, do it now. That sounds awful. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, you can pull it out. It's kind of stuck right there in that, in the bone right there. Okay. And then they run. Uh, what, what did I take for damage on that one? Or do I take damage on that one? You take your D4 of damage. Oh, wait, no. That was for the hours. Sorry about that. But, yeah, that was, that was hours of blindness. Or poor perception. Total which, six. how are you going to tell? Yeah. Six. six? Okay. Back to bloodied. <laughs> All right. And then they try to run off. They haven't made it off the map yet, but there you go. Emmy. What did you just do? Oh, I just brought up the skill sheet. I'm gonna. The horse is trained to respond to vocal commands, correct? Uh, or do I need to actually be there? It's a rein horse. It's not a jiha horse. So. Uh, it's a stupid horse. It's not. It. It's not trained to respond to verbal commands in this. In the sense of, you could yell "whoa" all you want, but you're not particularly sure that would help. It's not a war horse. It's yeah. scared. It's gonna run. Yeah. You can go. It's it's not trained in anything. It's not trained in anything. It's a cart horse. It's trained to pull carts. If I actually do have a decent handle animal, you can, I'm just gonna see if it's. A... You can roll real well and and see what happens. Oh no! The best I can do is ten. Are you trained in it? Nope. Okay. Then yeah. For some reason, I thought the. Um, Fey Bloodline gave that to me as a skill, but I. No. See, this is where. That's druids... just knowledge, nature. This is where druids would come in handy. See. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, the druid could have pulled the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I turn into a bear and pull the cart. I turn into a bear and make them pull the cart, or I maw them. So. <laughs> So what's happening? I guess we have to run after the cart. No, Mazes is still on it. You can just... Well, it'll it'll down. calm him down eventually. Yeah. Eventually. So we you have these... to walk for a couple of miles, but it'll be all right. <laughs> so. so are you running after the cart or targeting the goblins or something else? The goblins are already gone, right? They're the edge of the Oh, no, they're not. XP is running away. XP is escaping! Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach them with anything at this point. Secrets from their skulls. Well, you're standing up. Throw a rock. Huh? You're standing up. I am standing up, up so but I move. my closest spell that will do anything only has 30 feet to it. Days. Yeah. Oh, no, He's that'll nice. get me close enough to that one. Yeah. yeah you stop that one moving. So she will go there. Uh, for some reason, I thought they were further away. And she will daze it. Okay. We could actually pull some relevant info out of it. Nope. It does not save. All right. We got a dazed goblin. All right. And... Da -da -da -da. Good. That one's not going to be going anywhere next round. 
Waco, what are you doing? Are you going for another? Are you going to charge in with the mace? Like another psycho so, goblin kill. He was thinking about it, but then he kind of looked over to Gideon and then tried not to gag. And he's probably going to heal Gideon on account of the face arrow, which is really gross. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just around to pull it out, like out a little bit of blood. Crack, crack, bomb. <laughs> it's super gross. Um, he does point at Shen and then point at the goblin that Emmy dazed and kind of like do it, bring it over here. But I am gonna, jeez, arrow to the eye. That's still so gross. Uh, I'm gonna heal you. Didn't hit his total eye, otherwise it would be blinded. But and I got no. a modified eight, eight heals on your face. Thank you. Let's <laughs> be back to hurt. <laughs> this is going long harder for you guys than I was expecting. In the sense of when that cart ran off, things just changed. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that changed the tactics like crazy. All right, that's what you got when with with uh, animal drawn carriages, you know. All right. Anything else? Magpie's still Waco? running. Come back with my shiny stuff. <laughs> well, Waco's good. Pops his heel, and now he's just kind of looking expectantly at that goblin. Okay. Magpie, shinies are still getting away. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and he runs off the map. <laughs> yeah, I'm off the map. They kind of turn around the corner up up ahead, and it's like one and then the other's gone. <laughs> uh, you going to try and do anything to that horse to stop it, Mazes? He's going to use prestidigitation oh. to try and make it a little bit calmer around the end. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Prestidigitation. Good usage. To make it a little bit well thought out. calmer. To make it cooler. I don't know. Cooler? He's gonna try something. Okay. Pulling the reins and shouting at it or patting it on the... It doesn't work. It just keeps running. Okay. So you're over there saying, whoa, whoa! Dragon words and, and magic comes out. Dragon whoa, words. Whoa! Dragon words and magic comes look, out. Look! Magic! Look! Magic! Look! <laughs> Do you like magic? <laughs> Do you like magic? Yes, flip. <laughs> okay. So gonna draw a card. Any card. <laughs> You make it a little bit calmer. I'd like to cast a spell. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you can make another handle animal check. Just roll something better than... Roll something at least a 10. You have okay. no idea if what you did was effective or not. <laughs> so it's it slowed from a trot to kind of a, a little bit of a canter. So you're That's making progress. Headway. Yes, you're making headway. I know I didn't bring... Where did you get those coconuts? Um... <laughs> and a swallow brought it. <laughs> All right. Someone brought it. It's in the wagon. So, Shin. African or European? Uh, I don't know. You're on a wagon! So, well, all this goblin here is coming up behind it as it's running is. I'm seen it! So she jumps past its shoulders, feet first, puts his arms around its head, and lets his momentum just to the ground. RKO out of nowhere! Power bomb that gun! Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta confirm. Oh. <laughs> she gets turned down. <laughs> 20. Three to confirm. Oh yeah, that confirms. <laughs> you, you, Wait, your new battle I should have been chilling. John, John Cena since forever. That's straight up the most American thing I've ever seen happen in a tabletop game. <laughs> so I just get to add one to the crit multiplier, which should be bad enough as is. Times oh, yeah. three, you pop his little head off. God. 
You just took 30 points of damage for the place planted into the ground. You, you, uh, your momentum was more than you thought when you grabbed him. So when you John Cena his face to the ground, it literally, you literally skidded another five feet with him and ground his face off. Oh. <laughs> with the faces. I mean, Gideon's getting hit in the face, he's slicing faces off, and Shen's like grinding faces off in the dirt. It's a faces game. <laughs> I think we, I know a title for this one, Face Off. Yeah. I like oh, that, my God. I like that better. I like yeah, that better than what good. I had. That's it. That's it. Face Off. <laughs> this will top Face Off. There you go. We're going to have to take more faces. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> All right. Well, that happened. A jelly face. So just ain't right. Shen just lifts up the jelly faced goblin and just plops it back down. All right, Gideon, this is by far the most gory group of adventurers you've been with. But to be fair, it's the only group of adventurers you've been with. So it's true. So what I'm going to do. <laughs> And I, I think Joel caught onto my potential idea here. Um, first off, I'm going to uh, now. You know what? I'm, I'm okay for now. So I am going to charge and do be, because I learned my lesson last time: non-lethal damage. Oh, <laughs> that's you know that concept? Roundhouse. <laughs> okay. So basically, basically, I'm, I'm running and using my falchion, sort of using the, the the blunt side as like a clothesline, and doing non-lethal damage. Okay. <laughs> so it's plus two for the charge, but minus four for non-lethal. So it's only minus two from what you would normally. Run. Yeah, and I'm not doing power attack, so I'm not taking anything else from that. Uh, so that would be. So my plus seven minus, so plus five plus the 10, uh, 15. 15 on this one does hit. Okay. Cool. It's just kind of going like. Mm -hmm. And so non-lethal damage, he takes four plus two plus six, 12. So it's, it's going like this in its head as it's holding its fellow. And... The trail yeah. of spit is like you, half a the long. You just put yeah. that dude in a coma. <laughs> this dudette in a coma. It is a female goblin. You just put that gross little snot monster in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't kill it this time, Shien. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> She no, you didn't, slow claps. you didn't kill him, but you did turn him into a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> non lethal does not mean. Mine is broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, it wasn't a critical, so I didn't deduct any intelligence or constitution, so. There you go. <clears throat> All right. And I believe that effectively solves combat for this session. <laughs> Eventually, Magpie and Mazus. Yeah, well, I'll catch up to the wagon if it's not a sprint and get in front of it and stop the horse that way. But it's not. A yeah, the horse does anymore. stop. Eventually, yeah. the horse does stop. <laughs> All right, let's move you guys back up here. None of them got away. None of Still them got, got away. Minutes. And we got a prisoner. I would that work because if I would have yelled John Cena for no reason, that would have been just embarrassing. Indeed. <laughs> that, that was well done. Yeah. Face came right off. It's like spaghettios and meatballs. Trail of Alpha Getty, but it doesn't say anything. <laughs> she ends creating a new spear on the ground. He drags it back. All right. So, back to the ocean sounds as you hear the wa waves crash. Everything. <sighs> Calm. Just gonna, just gonna, yeah, you're just gonna leave the bodies out, or what you gonna do? What, how you? What you guys doing now that you got? You know, loot. Conscious goblin. loot the bodies. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm going to. I'm going to actually take the time while the, we're waiting for the one to become slightly conscious to talk, to actually sort of clean up the 
the residue as much as possible. <laughs> you get a mop? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> a mop, and if I can get a wheelbarrow, bring out your dead. <laughs> yeah. Just pop them up and push them behind a tree. It's the Pathfinder Circle of Life. <laughs> basically. Oh, yeah. Basically, getting them off the main road and getting them um, out of out of sight as much as possible. Are you guys going to strip do the down same this uh, thing? You know, are you going to loot the little female goblin that you captured too, or are you going to do something different? Oh yeah, we're oh. we're going to uh, leave her clothed, but no, well, yeah, we got to take her weapons at least. Yeah. Okay. No weapons, no armor. Come on now. Frisk search. Okay, so she has. We're going to do a quadrant by quadrant, so we we'll start up her left, do the hair, do the you know, and just move our way down. Yeah. You don't want to mess quadrant around search. in her hair. I'm just, you know, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> no, well, I'm looking for what I say. I've probably, probably seen worse. All right. So I believe I'm it. Give you the the stuff. At. Uh, I know a couple now. nurses. If, yeah. if you want to do it later, that's fine. As long as there's nothing vital to. Yes, there information purposes. Spoilers, but there's nothing super story breaking in here. Like eight goblins. Why are you telling me these goblins aren't carrying a god artifact? Unfortunately not. For like the enemy's master plans or something like that? Uh, this is a goblins. I'm not sure that they have master plans. But they one of them their leaders. One of them, leaders. One of them's got a day planner that goes like get up judge. <laughs> Steal food. Find dog. Kill dog. One of them has a one of them has a save the date. <laughs> There's a wedding coming up. The wedding of Grizzgut and um Snot Sucker. Rip Nugget. They're gonna stomp on a dog. Rip, rip, rip Nugget, nugget is such an already. asshole. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what did I miss? I had to run real quick. Nothing yet. You guys are they saving like the, the loot and stuff for later. Looted. Okay. And now we have it to where you guys this this little one's starting to wake up. He's gonna prod it with his. Bullet. I'm just gonna be leaning there with my falchion out in front of me, and I'm just gonna be kneeling in front of her. And she, I did manacle her with the manacles I still have, you know, so she's cuffed behind the back and what have you. <laughs> her little hand, you, you had to cuff her feet because her hands that's, are not thick enough. I know a trick for that, but that's besides the point. Anyway, okay. Uh, okay, you've got a trick for <laughs> that. No, no, I mean, I did personally, personally, that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to be leaning there. It is in your very best interest to cooperate with us. I'm going to tap her. I know you're waking up. Why, hello, my short sir. little friend. Sir. 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 You saw what I did to your friends. I would be in your best interest to listen. And I will roll uh, diplomacy for this. Because you know, be intimidation. Well, either way, it's a natural 20. <laughs> was she pretending to be asleep just now? She was trying. <laughs> That was adorable. Uh, yeah, it, it, it. This is my natural twenty for the session. Okay. Um, natural twenty and intimidation check on a little female goblin. Okay. Yeah, basically. Uh, it, kind it, of bully. Got <laughs> a good so, cop, bad cop, but I'll charm her. Okay. Natural twenty. <laughs> so uh, what? What happens is she kind of goes. <laughs> No kill, 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 Charm person. 17 DC. <laughs> We're going to charm it. Yep. It's 17. It's higher than I thought it was. So that's good. Good cop, bad cop. Holy yep. cow. <laughs> she rolled an 18. I can't see that. Uh, oh. She rolled an 18. And she had a good chance of saving versus it anyways because of... Yeah, plus five. 
So she rolled an like 18. She has a minus one. She has a minus one. So as, as yeah, no but she's got plus five due to the. She uh, like we probably could have just asked. So um, so as Emmy tries to go down there and calm the situation down with the goblin, the goblin just goes. <laughs> As long as you answer our questions, there's nothing to fear. We will not kill you without reason. We will not harm you without reason. Remember, you attacked us first. Now. Make me a perception check. <laughs> Just me or anybody else? Anybody else can too. Because I have a seven. Minus what? <laughs> Or is that it? No, that, that's the, my, I rolled a 10 and I got minus three in there. <laughs> wow. Shin's got 18. I've got 27. Anybody rolling above a 10 knows that she keeps repeating the same phrase and she does not seem to understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Oh, we gotta get Mazes to translate for us. Well, he was gonna clap in front of her face. <laughs> Just so sure. And he points at Mazes, and he says, see if she knows the master's name and if he's at Thistletop, and then we'll off her and get out of here. Waco, I promised that I wouldn't do her harm unless she gave us cause. She couldn't understand you. It is still a promise I made, and it's one that I have made in good faith. All right, whatever. Still sounds like half a promise to me. And it, just for the... Because you're, you're still probably going to kill her, and I'm not going to even see it. <laughs> <laughs> a killer to your left. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? He doesn't what? even notice, this, notice the blood splattering his own I'm just, face. No, I'm just breaking watermelons. So it's starting to rain. All right. So, so Emmy's going to try her darndest to calm this goblin down. So she's going to try to sort of do hand gestures, universal language of diplomacy here. Um, it's, uh, it looks at you, and it looks really scared when you start moving your hands around like that. I got an 18 for diplomacy, if that means anything. Um, it does kind of, but this thing doesn't understand what you're saying. Unfortunately. Does anybody, does anybody know how to speak goblin? Maze's kind of gestures. <laughs> raises his hand like a fifth grader. I know this seems like it may be a pointless endeavor, but do you think you can learn anything from it? I don't really speak it. Mostly just read it. I can, it's not really it's not flattering, really. <laughs> I can converse, of course, with it. Why, why I would want to do that? I mean, what do you want, really? Oh, if there's any, where the camp is, who the leader is, is there anything we should be concerned about as we travel towards Thistletop? My friend would like to know where your camp is. <laughs> Looks up, trying to find your voice. Can't see you from there. I don't know. I don't know. What? Where are you at? No. No, no voice. No hard voice. He'll shift over to the other side. Kind of looks down at it. What you, what you say? What you want? Where is your camp? I will not repeat myself. Camp, camp. Where you sleep, where you eat. Oh, it means we stay at this hotel. All right. And who do you... Who orders you around and smacks you on the head? Who? Who boss? Who boss? Bosses. Bosses. Correct. Chief Rip Nugget. But not my boss. My boss dead. I see. I see. Well, um... This little creature comes from Thistletop and is under the command of some dead goblin that I'm sure one of you just slew. Is there a way to get to Thistletop, or is there anything we should be concerned about as we approach? Is there anything... 
Are there any guard posts on the way to Thistletop? Any traps? Are there some traps? Thus, the traps? Where? Uh, she kind of points over towards where they came from, which is not towards Thistletop. And then she kind of points over into the wood, the area behind the wagon that you guys had come from. Much birds! Much birds there! Much birds! You want, you, 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 you want me to get your birds? Me get long shank birds! Fish eye get long shank birds! What? what? Fish eye! <laughs> fish eye get long shank birds! No, eat fish eye! Eat birds! Fish eye and birds? What are it, you? Thinks you're gonna, it thinks we're going to eat it. <laughs> I think that's why it's why we're asking about trapping. Are there any. Is there anything on the way from here to Thistletop that would um, stop you from reaching Thistletop? Uh, 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 Asking if there are goblins on the road. Of course there are goblins on the road. Asking if there's more goblins ahead. Are there any other groups of goblins ahead? Uh, uh, big group. Big group. Thistletop. But not before Thistletop. Uh, what's that? You're the only group outside of Thistletop. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. are, you, are, you, are you sure? Are you completely sure? No. <laughs> uh, sense motive on body language, Anna? And motive. Eh, and it's shitty. It was only in. Nine percent body. Um, doesn't seem to be holding out or anything. No, I'm so, just terrified. So you're not even sure if there are. No, 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 no. We, we from bird crunchers. We're not from this old top con. We lose Chief. Chief die. And Chief die at Longshanks Village. And and we come we come back Rip Nugget save us. But Rip Nugget so, gonna feed us to, to big howl hole. Howl. Right. So Thistletop are your enemies, are they? No, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Competition? The, uh, um, the boss right now. But no lights in being boss. Oh. Well, uh, you could potentially help us to unboss them for us. Well, what? That would be beneficial for you and for us, wouldn't it? Uh, what potato? Potato? Me potato bosses? Pot potato. P potato bosses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all useful information may have been extracted. It, it looks potato very confused. Bosses. When, the, the bigger the words you start using, the more confused she ends up looking. Even in Goblin. <laughs> they boss. What? You make them no longer boss. No more boss? No more bo We're boss? Everyone happy. Everyone no. We know boss. You boss. Fish eye boss? <laughs> Fish eye boss. He's just kind of confused at you and stuff. It's it's kind of assessing. We no like them boss. You no like them boss. No one likes them boss. No. No one? No one like them, boss? Hmm. Me? Ah. Fish eye boss at this old top? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not fish eye this old top, boss? Well, you would have to help us, though. We cannot take out down thistle top, boss, without your help. What we do? What we do? But you know, they're bird crunchers. 
Are there any bird crunches in Thistletop? Lol, lol. Maybe. Well... You would have to convince them to join you to become boss. Alright. Join Thistletop and become boss. Uh, she seems to be, uh... Thinking very hard on that. What? For sure. For sure, boss. Right? Well, you would have to convince your friends at Thistletop. Otherwise, we may have to kill them because they will be standing in the way of you becoming boss. What? No. No. They don't like what we get. They'll follow for sure. They, they for better. Be big queen. It is either follower of fisheye or dead. Follower of fisheye or dead. Well, gentlemen, I believe we have just struck a deal here. <laughs> Goblin's. Oh, yes, do tell. Goblin's trying to stand up and going, Um, we are to uh, divide and conquer the, the goblin tribes. Mm, very good. Uh, this is uh, Fish Eye, uh, the uh, soon-to-be ruler of a thistle top. What? Mm. You've imbued it with nobility. It's not, a, it's not really a, a noble title. It's a goblin. Nobility is thinking they're better. You thought you made it think she's better. This isn't going to help. She's going to recruit her um, friends from her tribe. Wiggle points at the smear on the ground. <laughs> yes, correct. According to her, there is a larger group of goblins in Thistletop. Some of them from her tribe, the bird crunchers, munchers, whatever. All right, all right, all right. Um, Meaning that if she can extract some of the goblins from the, uh, the, the rip nug nugget boss guy, that means there are less goblins for us to kill at that p particular moment, of course. And he's... At Thistletop? Correct. Brilliant. And he takes Fish Eye's cheeks and gives them a little stretch and then bops her on the head and walks away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fish Eye turns to you. It is a greeting of uh, new royalty. That what? Make it, make it decept, make a uh, <laughs> lie to it. <laughs> make a lie to it, check. Yeah, bluff. There we bluff. Go. <laughs> she does not believe you at all. That is fine. <laughs> That's the explanation she's getting. <laughs> all right. I mean, he's gonna sort of kneel down and shake hands with Fish Eye and say, "Nice to meet you, Fish Eye." As you kneel down. And, and kind of put your hand out, she kind of goes like that, and then she grabs you by the snout and starts looking you over. Grabs you by her snout, looks in your ear, sniffs it. I can't talk about that. Which translates to something along the lines of, never seen one of these, how it tastes. Probably terrible. Also, when they kneel down like that, they show their inferiority to you. Oh. <laughs> She's going to <laughs> jump back and sort of transform back into her human Into her human form? It's like, ah! <laughs> and tries to scramble underneath the the wagon. It's a trickster demon. I can have trickster demon. Demon. The demon. And she points to the, she points to Emmy. Demon. Is she saying that in common or? Yeah, she doesn't, know, she thinks it's a name. Demon. Oh, uh, Emmy just sort of gives a glare at Mazus and... Something lost in tra translation. Nothing I can do. <laughs> Go ahead and bluff me on that one. Oh, I don't think he's trying to deceive you. That's just, it's kind of like with the goblin. That's the answer you're getting. <laughs> kind of All right, uh, with that, she's going to start doing a little bit of prestigitation and turning his hair red. 
Oh, so now, now uh, Mazus is effectively a redhead temporarily. Yep, <laughs> just like real life. <laughs> well, Presto did you take it back? Presto, it's a Presto war. <laughs> it's a pres Presto. It's like the end of sleep. It's a Presto did you duel? It's the end of Sleeping Beauty, but instead of a dress, it's hair. That's pretty much what happens. So, Fish, uh, Fish Eye insists on sitting by Mazes as the only one that she can talk to. And uh, <clears throat> she, she effectively says, Ah, to Thistletop! Uh, yes, of course. And, and before we, she, I'm gonna actually, I will remove the, the manacles from her feet at that point. As long as Mesa says it's okay. The worst thing that happens is that she'll run away. Or strangle us in, the, in us in our sleep. That's true. It's still morning. You can make it to Thistletop before, uh, before. So, the I'll, day. I'll, I'll take them off and put them back in my, my bag of many things. A bag of many things? Yeah, pretty much. That sounds bag expensive. Of... A bag of many packs. A, a, a bag of many adventuring tools. <laughs> okay. All right. Magpie's going to sit, like, sort of perched on the back corner of the wagon with his bow. Because I don't, I don't want to put up with this again. <laughs> and last thing before we go, Emmy is going to... Uh, oh, shoot. He won't be able to read comment anyways. Never mind. Jeez. And I'm just going to be prepared for any eventuality with my... Seven passive perception. Okay. <laughs> There's pretty blue sky out. Birds are flying. <laughs> That's that all right. You're looks, next to me. I'll... That cloud looks like a dog. Fish mm. aren't going to get mad. Like <laughs> right. sitting backwards in the saddle, making fangy grins at her. She makes. <sighs> He's licking his teeth. He wants to make it abundantly clear that he looks like he wants to eat her. She keeps she keeps asking if she can eat, if they can eat him first. Waco keeps asking his chicken the same question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Then. He would get. So, did you guys hear me? I, I sort of cut out when I said Emmy sort of transforms back into a person, back into yeah. human form. Yeah, you're yeah. back into okay. human form. So no one's grabbing your snout and trying to to assert dominance yeah. by slapping your head around. Yeah. Open this new. Okay. So, you guys head on. And let me see. You guys want to head up towards Thistletop, I guess. Right? Sounds like a plan. Okay. And while Mazus is busy focusing on the road, Emmy's going to press digitation his hair bright pink. Like, damn. So that he can't see what's going on. She's going she's gonna to sort of do it behind his back. Oh, okay. So, at some point, Presto, the Presto War continues. Um, yep. Oh, man. Getting your nails did in Fantasyland must be, a, like, super easy. Right? Yeah. It's super expensive. Your hair looks like frozen yogurt. Okay. So, you pass... That was at uh, the Raven Roost Hills. You pass through the Tick Wood, where you almost got gored to death. Magpie gives a bit of a shudder. Uh, fluff, just... Is anyone gonna like try and heal some of us? <laughs> I don't know. That's up to y'all. You're currently at the Shanky Wood and the Tick. Because Emmy's uh, Emmy's legs are still okay. Hurt. Yeah, actually, I was gonna do that, but then I figured I was gonna do that, but I figured someone else would be able to. But I am gonna do that. He's gonna at one point or another clamber back there, and I guess he'll pop a heel on you. All right. Fish eye tries or, to, or fish eye tries to nip at you as you do that. There's seven points of healing. <laughs> That's exactly how much damage I took, so I'm back at full. There you go. It gives you a big fangy grin, and then magpie a big fangy grin, and then back to you, and then back to magpie. Oh, no, I took five, so, yeah, I'm I'm back. He's going to grab a handful of magpie feathers and run back to the front. Because, ah! <laughs> you know, you're not facing forward, so it just works out. No, oh, wait, he's on lookout, man. He should have been looking out forward. He wasn't looking out for me. <laughs> All right, then. You're that chicken. Better watch yourselves. Oh. 
Okay. So people get healed up. I'm assuming everyone gets healed up. Is anyone else hurt? I didn't take any damage. I, I brought myself up uh, with another lay on hand, so I'm good. Did you get hurt at all there? I got a grenade to the face. So, like, <laughs> and a an arrow. Or a lot? Uh, it's not too bad. I can I can pop a heal on you. I don't know why. I got potions and stuff too if I need to. I got ten. Ten heals on you, Mazes. That's a lot, wow. of can lot of cancer. Thank you. You're doing great. Okay, then. So you guys make your way, and you get uh, all done around, and you get to that, that curve in the road that starts to turn away from Thistletop, and uh, Fisheye starts going, oh, no, stop, oh, no, stop, and it starts saying, stop, stop, stop. We go here. We go here. Did we know? Let's, let's, let's stop evil beast. Stop evil beast. We can uh... We can't take the wagon in. No, nah, not that wagon in. Big mm. monster. Stomp us. Not that wagon in. Well, um, Fisheye wants us to uh, get off the wagon and start walking from here. How much further do we have to go? Ah, but, ah. Uh, 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 this many? That many what? Uh, she kind of looks up at the sun, points at where it is, points a little over and says, Tell them there! Right, well, when the sun is over there, we should be there. If that is any indication for you. A couple of hours? How many finger <laughs> is that? It uh, appears to be about an hour off the road, off the beaten path. Because you got to travel through some tougher terrain. It's about three finger width. Well, do anyone have any idea what to do with this horse? What is that? Wait, did we end up taking the goblin's advice? Well, could we take it off path uh, and tie it to a tree, or, or would that be too cruel? I'm well, we're sure going to come back for it. I'm not sure how long we will be gone, but I guess tying it to a with a long long rope would be the best. Well. I look at it this way. If we don't come back for the horse, it doesn't really matter whether or not we tie the horse up or not. The goblins will get it. Right. I can leave the chicken to guard the horse. No, no, we Are need you... your murder chicken. We need... We might need not to like to need your chicken. That'll be fine. Uh, you're cool. Uh, in the sky. <laughs> Well, let's let's tie it up and be on the path. Once the uh, cart stops, Fish Eye just kind of deftly jumps and hops off and starts toddling off towards the what you know as the nettlewood. We go side, All right. hops off and plods after, saying, "This is a bad idea." Of course it is. But could it get any worse? Yes, yes, of course it could get worse. Always. Always the optimistic. You and Emmy stay back and guard the wagon, mate. Mazes, I thought you were supposed to be smart. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Do that in the air. What? Over here. Over here. Must come. Follow. Right, right. Over here. Right, now, so... I hope you have practiced on your, on your speech. Because if you can't convince your friends, you know what will happen to them. What? What convince? Convince. Make them believe. Force them to abide by your highness. Abide. You boss. You boss, Be and boss. they know you boss. Be boss. Yeah. You tell them you boss, and they say, yes, you boss. Yes, me boss. Yes, boss. She starts toddling off a bit faster. Where is she? She looks like she's still on the cart. Well, I'm not moving, you guys. What? Well, Right yeah, now, we're not just... oh, okay. there's no real. Yeah, we're out in the forest. Yeah, you guys are out right on a. It's cut. As you came around that bend, the woody part of it kind of faded away, and you got into a bit more of a grassland type area. With um, <clears throat> it started to. This is kind of the fall time, so it's kind of got some of that grain going. 
You can, you can hear the ocean way in the distance. And you have to kind of, uh, as you guys follow her, she kind of ducks down sometimes and crawls on all of her fours. <laughs> moving a bit faster than you would expect a bipedal person to. But she moves around and gets around. And it takes about 30 minutes to, to wind her way through. But as you get to the very... Uh, as you're just about to get fed up with waiting on this goblin to, to find something, she goes, <laughs> and she jumps into the thistles. Where did you go? And as you, you say that, she kind of throws back a, a, a kind of curtain of thistle, of thorn branches and brambles. And it's like, here, here, we come here. And you see a crawl space with... Uh, that has been covered by this makeshift curtain door of prickly pears of all kinds. And very it clever. Leads further See? in. Convenient. A then, little bit cram, but convenient, I'm sure. I've already thrice been poked. And that's where we're calling it tonight. <laughs> thrice right. poked and called tonight. So. That's where we're going to to kind of let this episode go. You guys have made it to the Thistletop uh, Nettlewood. After a bit of an interesting fight with some some goblins. Uh, or shenanigans. Indeed. So there you go. Hopefully it was enjoyable for everyone. And hopefully Joel no, was... will behave a bit better next time. Brutal. <laughs> hmm. Really? All right. So, is there anything you would like to say to YouTube before we get off? No. Yes. Uh, don't don't collect shiny things. It'll fuck up your whole encounter. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess. Don't let the the thief get too attached to his shinies. Okay. They have never so never trust value. the wizard. I should I should get an extra trait for that. <laughs> that's, another, that's a whole another drawback. It's only happened. You once. can't roller skate with a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate with a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. But, but you, you can, can be happy if you want to. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Those of you that have, remember that you can like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can find us on Facebook at the end of planar crossroads dot com uh, end of planar crossroads there all is, one word all one word end of planar crossroads dot com is all one word you can find our current back portion of episodes are up there right now but we're going it's quickly catching up with our current set of episodes of games so you should be able to keep track of us there if you want to find us find these episodes numbers on a cube on YouTube and we've got some other episodes kind of planned around for possibly getting um, a few build spotlights and things like that. Maybe a series on deities. So just kind of keep track. You might get something neat. But if there's nothing else from anybody else, huh? <laughs> we'll say bye, you two. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I think so. So uh, uh, bye. 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 That's that, 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 folks. <laughs> Once the cart got out of the sight of the town, Emmy approached Gideon about the morality of Waco servitude. The two button heads, but were at an impasse. A short time later, after Emmy gathered her courage, she moved over to Magpie slapped his feathered face. Then she pulled him into a kiss as she transformed in front of the whole party. To those who didn't know, it was a shock. But not all received it well. Masus accursed her of being a demon. Magpie fell backwards out of the cart in shock. After Getting Magpie into the cart, 
distracted by Maces, a group of goblins got a jump on our party and shot Gideon. Soon, the goblins discovered they had attacked the wrong caravan. Shen shot his rope dart through one of the goblins, and Gideon sliced another goblin's face off. Defending Waco, who made to the attacking goblins faster. With most of them dead, one goblin called for help. More appeared on the other side of the cart. Emmy and Basis were left vulnerable. Everyone was too busy with the first group of goblins. One attacked Emmy, slicing her shins. Another firing an arrow at Basis, just missing. Shin made it back to the cart just in time, shielding Emmy from a pellet grenade blast. The blast spooked the horse and the cart took off. Emmy couldn't hold on, but Shin protected her again. He broke the fall on the jagged gravel below for her. Magpie took after Maces and the cart, lobbing a pellet grenade of his own at the goblins as he ran, killing one and injuring another. Gideon and Waco made it to goblin that attacked Emmy, Waco just missing it, and Gideon cleaving it in two. The remaining two goblins each took one last shot, the first arrow just missing Gideon. But the second arrow slid into the soft skin just below Gideon's eye. It was only stopped by his cheekbone. The two goblins would escape. Shin grinding the first one's face off in the gravel as he tackled it. Gideon subduing the other and taking her prisoner. Masus, being the only one who could speak Goblin, took charge of the interrogation. He got some useful information and possibly turned this Goblin fisheye on her boss. It is unknown what he said exactly, but uh, it incited some nasty behavior in fisheye targeted at Emmy, forcing her to transform. After a long ride up the coast and past the dickwood, Fisheye stopped the caravan and led our party to a hidden entrance to a tunnel. Could Fisheye and Vasus be trusted?